Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne, and this is the fourth little lesson for making fabric or painting printing fabric using photo printer paper. And I'm going to use Jacquard textile color, and I have it, some of it in a little bottle with a little metal tip for a fine line. We'll see, it depends on how thick or thin my paint is. I have a little container in case I need that, and I'm going to use the dot tool for the flowers. And I think I'm going to get some yellow to go with this. I have a piece of the photo printer photo paper, and I have a piece of fabric. This is not as tightly woven, this is a white muslin, so it's not as tightly woven as the white that I usually use. I'm going to begin. I'm going to do these in two layers, so I'm going to do my green and then I'm going to do the fluorescent violet color. These bubbles might do something really cool when I lay the fabric on it. And they're happening because when I let go of the squeeze bottle, it sucks air into it. But for this, I'm not going to care. Set my fabric on the edge. I like to use a little container to just pick up that paint. This didn't pick it up because it's probably dried a little too fast. I'm going to still rub it. The thin lines tend to dry faster. I think I'm going to just lift this and just do a couple more there. Get to them really fast, then they work. This is really pretty, could use that for something. Really like that. Now, when I set this back on, it's probably not gonna be in the exact same place because I'm not using any kind of register, and that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I am not, that was thinned, but I'm not going to thin this. It's pretty thin consistency, and I want it to be a little thicker on here so that it'll stay long enough for me to drop the fabric on. I know if I don't put them on where they're raised up, it will definitely dry too fast. And I just laid my arm in the green. <laughs> so I smudged that. So if I had plans for this paper, 
may not be so so good now that I did that. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm going to take the fabric again. Line it up, sort of, kind of. Kind of pretty little flowers. I could machine stitch on this or hand embroider on this. I think it's very pretty. I'm gonna let that set for a little bit and I'm going to get, I was gonna get yellow but I think maybe orange just to put some other dots on there. I think I will try the yellow. The oranges that I the orange that I have is really intense, so I'm gonna just try the yellow. See if it shows up at all. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the. I'm gonna just try that. Doesn't doesn't show enough. So I will go back to the orange. And see how that looks. That's really pretty. Well, that was fun, and I like it on the paper too. And here's the piece I decided to free motion quilt it. It's not finished yet. I think I'll do some something besides quilting and binding around the edge, and I'll post a picture of that when it's done. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different things I did with the photo printer paper and that you'll give it a try. And if you liked this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And be sure and tap the bell for notifications of my newest videos. This has been Anne. Thanks a lot for watching.